today we're just taking we're going to be taking a couple of our students up for the first time give them a chance to say hey I flew in an electric airplane yeah my name is Joseph Oldham I'm the president and CEO of uh, New Vision Aviation and we're a 501c3 nonprofit that is uh, focused on providing aviation education for youth from our disadvantaged communities uh, here in the San Joaquin Valley. Now the real joy of today is going to be watching uh, our young Josiah here go up in this plane and log the very first hours ever logged that are allowable by the FAA in an all-electric plane. My name is Josiah Bohannon and I'm a student pilot with New Vision. Um, I pretty much have 60, about, about 65 hours of flight time. Um, I've been flying for about two years and uh, you know, I'm looking to become a flight instructor here pretty soon. It's funny because I really didn't have an interest, so I had to be, it had to be pride out of me. I had to get invited over here. Once I got invited over here, then I just kind of like, you know, hey, I kind of like this, you know, let me give it a try, give it a try. And it's like, you know, I find out it's something I want to do. My thing is, so if I go to the airlines, I kind of feel like that's kind of selfish. I take all my resources, all the stuff I've learned and I support, I just support me. But if I just become a flight instructor, I use everything I learned to help somebody else. As a pilot, I knew that we had a pilot shortage. We had a lack of diversity in aviation. Most of the pilots in the U.S. kind of look like me, you know, old white guys. And that doesn't totally represent the, the population of this nation. Just getting in the door to the aviation industry is very expensive. So in 2015, Pipistrelle, the company that manufactures this uh, Alpha Electro behind us, uh, they announced that they were going to go to production with the first production electric airplane. So I'm like, wow, if we could get some electric airplanes and put those into flight training operation, that would really lower that cost barrier for young people in this neighborhood and then other neighborhoods around the valley. And then Fresno County Transportation Authority that year came out with a new grant program, their um, Advanced Technology uh, Demonstration Grant. And so I contacted a gentleman. I said, what can you use this money for? And he goes, well, pretty much anything. What did you have in mind? I said, what about electric airplanes? There was this pause <laughs> of silence. And then he's like, wow, that sounds really cool. In roughly 2018, 2017, the Measure C Committee went out with a grant solicitation for new technology and transportation. And at that time, uh, an all-electric production aircraft had just emerged in Slovenia. So the plane you're looking at right now has come from all the way across the globe. We applied, and we being the cities of Ripi, the city of Mendota, and New Vision Aviation, or New Vision Aviation being a 501c3, applied for this grant, million dollar grant, for Measure C funds for new technology. We were successful. And when we found out we were successful, oh boy, the magic started. Now we're ready to start getting our instructors all trained up so they can start training students. So the cost to fly this aircraft for its fuel is about $5 an hour. To fly this Cessna 150 that's back here, which is the type of aircraft that I learned how to fly in uh, 50 years ago, that aircraft costs about $35 to $40 an hour, depending on the cost of aviation gasoline. So the cost savings uh, for these electric aircraft are phenomenal. Not to mention the environmental benefit. There's no emissions from this aircraft and they're extremely quiet. And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take off here on runway 30 here at Fresno Chandler and we're gonna do a pass. We're gonna go up, we're gonna fly down the traffic pattern, come around, we'll do a low pass over the runway, and then we're gonna come back around and we'll just make a landing. So uh, what we're checking for is we're checking to make sure that ailerons move, uh, making sure that everything's connected in here, making sure that it's pretty flesh, pretty solid, making sure the wings are, you know, clean, um, there's no damage, stuff like that. Caliper, check the tire for uh, cuts or bruises, uh, pressure, inflation, check the brake, check the brake pads. Make sure the propeller uh, doesn't have any cracks or anything like that in it, make sure it's a smooth surface. Move it around a few times with this airplane, you can uh, move back and forth because on the inside there's no uh, rod in the middle like regular airplanes. With the controls, we just kind of uh, move them around a little bit, try to make sure we have free movement within the controls and 
oftentimes we'll, we'll get on the rudder pedals and move them to make sure we have movement in the rudder too. Now here we have our yoke, controls our ailerons. When we go side to side, controls ailerons. When we go up and back, controls uh, our elevator. Here down here is our rudder pedals, and this controls our rudder, which controls our directional control. Um, here we have some avionics, some uh, electronic displays. We have our flaps here. We have our throttle, which controls our power. We have our masters and avionic switches. Master controls the, uh, the electronics and the uh, systems in here. And then we have lights down here. We have some instruments up here telling us speed and such things like that. We have altitude here, uh, direction here. Yeah. For communities like this one that are surrounding an airport, that's a huge, huge benefit for the future. And this is just the first. There's hundreds and hundreds of other manufacturers that are working right now to develop advanced electric aircraft and some of them, actually many of them, are actually going to be designed to take off like a helicopter, transition into horizontal flight, and land like a helicopter. Chandler traffic, Alpha Electro 198 Alpha Mike, taking off runway 30, staying in left closed traffic. This is a Pipistrel Alpha Electro. It is the world's first production electric airplane. It's a two-seat aircraft, has a gross weight about equal to a Piper Cub. That aircraft was a training airplane in the 1940s, and uh, this is a training airplane for the future. It has a gross weight of about 1,212 pounds. It'll have a cruising speed of up to 108 knots, but it uh, will also cruise very happily at about 64 knots, which is where you get your best uh, range and your best endurance. Um, service ceiling is about 12,000 feet. On descent, the prop turns into a wind generator and it puts power back into the battery. So just like an electric car, when you let off on the throttle, the motor turns into a generator and puts power back into the battery. This works the same way. It's got a range of about 70 nautical miles to complete battery exhaustion, but you don't want to completely exhaust the battery. I've flown one of these between Fresno and Lodi back in 2021, and uh, we charged up along the way using a solar-powered uh, electric car charger to provide the power for the charger. And we were flying legs of about 25 to 35 nautical miles at each, each hop, yeah. and it worked really well. The valley is a perfect place for this because we have all these little airports up and down the valley and they're really close together.